All right guys, the next technique that we're gonna cover is functional dry needling. So the dry needle is the tool that we're gonna be using, and functional dry needling is a technique that is used by physical therapists up in North America. Uh, it's most recently getting into many, many states in America, and it's a technique done by physical therapists. It's the same tool as an acupuncturist uses, but we're using it in the functional pyramid to try to restore functional movement capacity to our patients. So we're gonna do a pre-test here something called a Thomas test. We're gonna have Lindsay come down here, lay down on your back. You're gonna take this knee up, you're gonna hold it here. And we're looking at the functional length here of her hip flexor. So you got your iliopsoas group, then you have your rectus femoris here. So this is about where we're at, you can see that angle. Okay, you can lay down on your back here on the table. And what we're gonna do is gonna be palpating functional trigger points. We're gonna be inserting the needles, we're gonna be using an e-stim unit on it, and then we're gonna be retesting here. So bear with me as I get this stuff set. Since dry needling is invasive, we are gonna be using a clean technique, making sure that I have gloves on, that we're alcohol swabbing the area that we're gonna be treating, just making sure that everything is super sterile. So I'm gonna be going through, palpating a point, it's pretty tender there, and I'm gonna be taking out dry needle, palpating that same point, and then insert in. So we're gonna drop this deep, we're gonna get it into that trigger point, we're gonna actually drop deep to the bone there. So that's the vastus lateralis, the most lateral quadricep muscle. Second muscle that we're gonna get here is the rectus femoris that we just mentioned, it runs down the midline here. So we're gonna get another tender point, needle in, we're gonna drop down, right onto the femur here. So next step, take the e-stim unit and we're gonna get a little bit of a muscle twitch out of it. So you can see the vastus lateralis go in there with the twitch response. Then we're gonna switch these two up. You're gonna see the muscles go in again. Okay, quick and easy. Okay, Lizzie, I want you to come back up. We're gonna get into that same Thomas test position. You're gonna have your sacrum here. You're gonna be bringing your right leg up to your chest. Come a little bit more towards me. And let the leg relax. Wow, okay. So you can see the angle change here from just the musculature that we worked on. And just to be clear, we're not breaking up scar tissue here. This is a neurological phenomenon of musculature reducing its tone. 